I'm Dave Weaver with Easter Precision. I'm here in Avoca, Pennsylvania with Bob Mills of Kraft Oil Company. I'm Bob Mills with Kraft Oil Corporation, uh, located, headquartered in Avoca, Pennsylvania, with locations in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and also Lakewood, New Jersey. We're a full-line motor oil distribution company with a full-time service department, including clean burn heaters, rotary lifts, SAMHSA, and Graco equipment. We are here today to discuss a new technique that Kraft Oil has, uh, has worked with Eastern Precision regarding the cleaning each year that, that, that has been done in the past and which is which we are bringing to the market today through Eastern the technology of ultrasonic cleaning of the, the blocks and the burners. There are many methods of cleaning in the industry. There are spray cabinets, pass-throughs, solvent base, hazardous cleaning, vapor degreasers. Is there any reason why you chose ultrasonics uh, from Eastern Precision? We chose Eastern Precision because two, two months ago we purchased AD supplies and uh, uh, yourself, Dave, you were working with AD for the last couple years and uh, the two things that we saw that AD supply had success with with the unit was the cleaning from inside out and also the environment is safe. In this, in this environment being oil distribution, green is always better and the association with ultrasonic and eastern precision made it very clear that this was the right choice for us was this this unit and truthfully we bought two of these units we have one located here in, the, in our headquarters building and one also in the philadelphia market so we made a big investment in the future uh, with eastern partnered with dave and his company uh, of, of growing this technology and taking it to taking the advantages of cleaning from the inside out with the with the environmental safe of the product Ultrasonics is pretty forward thinking, um, and I understand that you're making a big investment here. Now your competition is going to claim they can do what you're doing by other methods. I mean, what makes yours different? We've always been a company that believes in the long term. We believe in the future. We've, we've looked at, we've done dealt with the clean burn units and previous and competitive units for 25 plus years. Uh, the Ultrasonics is, in our mind, the wave of the future. The idea is to minimize the number of times we have to go back to that customer or the customer has to touch their burner. We still get back to the idea that we, we don't want repeat calls. We don't want the customer to have to touch the burner. This way with the ultrasonics you're taking that whole clean from the inside out piece mentality that the units are going in as new. So therefore you're taking years of previous service and the hours of previous service of that heater and eliminating it by getting rid of the carbon. The happiest employees are the ones that are warm and being able to service the car and do the things right versus complaining about it. We believe with ultrasonics you have you have the ability to have a heater that's working all the time because of a clean clean block, clean nozzles and from that technology. We believe clean burn, we believe in it, it's a part of the green green philosophy. Uh, you have a, a, a environmentally safe product here, the solution that goes along very well with the clean burn. We're, we're burning the oil that could either be uh, be dumped somewhere, recycled, or it's going to be burnt. I mean, this is a very green. It, 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 the two tie together. The ultrasonic cleaner from Eastern Precision and clean burner are, are two things that Kraft Oil believes in. And it is green, both solutions, and it's a solution for our customer. Uh, Bob, traditionally, how was this cleaning taking place? How is it done? Let's get Rich to do this part. What is it you do here, Rich? Well, uh, Dave, I obviously work for Kraft Oil Corporation, and I work with the service department. And we do a lot of things. Uh, we do a lot of lubrication work, but today, for our purposes here, we want to talk about our work with clean burn waste oil furnaces. Uh, it's a big part of what we do. We've been doing clean burn waste oil furnaces for 20 years now. We install them and then we service them. We take care of them once they're out in the field. And that's really, that, that's critical. Um, obviously, uh, these units are, are they're fantastic. It's a big investment. They do a great job of, of producing a very efficient heat out of a product that traditionally has been considered waste that now you have to pay to get rid of. And we're now making that into useful heat and, and heating these, these shops. But along with that comes the maintenance. You've got to take care of the machines. You've got to make sure that they're up to snuff and running properly. What we're talking about today is a better way to maintain the machines. Okay. We showed you before how we were doing it in the past with the traditional old 
solvent based parts washer and the brush is plunging the, the blocks. And I'd like to um, uh, you know, mention the block real quick. Um, this is a solid aluminum block and it's really the heart of the clean burn oil burner. What does this do? Well, this block is machined. There are passageways through it. And the passageways carry the waste oil and the air that is ultimately burned at the business end of the burner. As you can imagine, after a good bit of runtime, those passageways get choked down and sometimes completely blocked. And once that happens, the performance of the unit is not where it should be or not running at all. Okay. The big issue here is when we do go in to do the preventative maintenance, the cleaning of the unit, we want to get this block back to factory fresh condition. Perfectly clean, all aluminum, no carbon, no, no buildup, straight passageways. Um, and this was the block that was gone over in the old fashioned way. So this is clean? The, to the old standards? To the old standards, this is clean. Okay. Yeah. And what I'd really like to do is put it in the ultrasonic and, and see what else we get out of it. So here's the block. I'm going to put it in the, uh, the ultrasonic cleaner. Ultrasonic on, right? Should we take that right out? Beautiful. Holding a retention head from a clean burn burner. And this is really, this is the business end of the burner uh, where the fire is actually starting from right here. And as you can see, over time it builds up a, a pretty substantial amount of carbon on it. Um, and traditionally we would clean this in the old solvent washer with brushes and scrapers and we would get them better than this but they never quite looked factory fresh. Um, so what we want to do, just like before, is put this in the ultrasonic and take a look at the results. There are the, uh, the block and the retention head in progress. I'd say at this point the block is pretty much done. Um, this retention head, a little bit on the bottom yet, but cleaner than we would have ever gotten it with the old parts washer. And you know, probably would have spent an hour to get it not even close to this. Whereas here we can just drop it in and, and basically walk away. So, works very well. Wow, that's incredible. It looks brand new. Fantastic. So what this means, of course, is when this gets reinstalled, you're really starting 
with a burner that's almost brand new again. Um, and you know, the results are better performance, less likelihood of any breakdowns or no heat calls. So uh, that's the real benefit. Craft Oil Corporation.